Good morning, dear colleagues. I am Alexander Matyushkin. I represent Tallinn University of Technology Estonia and National University Chernihiv Polytechnic Ukraine as well. Today I would like to talk about the component design guidelines of the selected inverters. So the topic of my presentation is optimal LCL filter study for bug boost inverter based on unfolding circuit. I have divided my presentation into six main points, as you can see on this slide. Uh, and now I'd like to start with the case study system. First of all, I need to notice that my supervisor and I have previously proposed the family of bug boost inverters based on unfolding circuit. Two topologies of them you can see on this slide. On the left side is twisted bug boost inverter. On the right side is simple bug boost inverter based on unfolding circuit. We expected the compact size of these converters because there is no DC link. DC links, uh, so it doesn't need any additional huge capacitors. Uh, each topology has a small amount of passive elements, but on the other hand, there is a big number of semiconductors. Thus, it requires a complex control algorithm uh, for the correct operation. Also, we define it that these topologies can work, can work in wide ranges of the input powers and voltages. Uh, if to compare the circuit between each other, the twisted converter has low uh, number of uh, semiconductors, but the switcher stress are greater. On the other hand, the twisted inverter operates only with one mode, while the simple bug boost inverter can operate with a bug or boost mode separately. Uh, we have determined that PV is the most suitable field of application for this topology. So the input is the PV string. The converter includes uh, the control and measurement block. And finally, the converted uh, energy is going to the grid. But before the designing of the system, it needs to determine uh, the passive elements by theoretical analysis. That is why the goal of this research is to do the theoretical analysis and to select the passive components of the bug boost inverter based on unfolding socket. The next point is relates to the component design guidelines. Uh, the first uh, considered topology was the twisted bug boost inverter based on unfolding socket. It is not difficult to express the values of the passive components depends on the predefined ripples because the equivalent circuit allows to apply the steady state analysis. The expression of the passive components you can see on the right side. Uh, the topology has the LCL filter so it needs to remember and check the ratio between the resonance and switching frequency for stable case. Uh, the next slide shows the component dependencies on the boost and buck ratios. In other words, these graphs uh, shows, show uh, when the ripples of the passive components are greatest. Uh, for example, the ripples of the inductances uh, are increasing with the greater input voltage, while the capacitor is decreasing. The boost mode of the simple bug boost inverter based on unfolding socket is determined, determined uh, in uh, the same way by using steady state analysis. The expression of the passive elements have other views. However, if we're talking about the bug mode, it needs to apply more complex approach because during bug mode the LCL filter is remaining as a whole structure. Uh, the main task becomes to the switching harmonics detection. Thus, the next step is the Laplace domain that allows to get transfer function. We consider it that the most significant harmonic accords to the switching frequency. That is why the THD factor contains only switching and fundamental harmonics. The Fourier transform helps to de determine uh, the voltage value on the necessary harmonic. 
We also considered that the inductances must be connected uh, between each other by a factor r. So finally it remains to solve the quadratic equation to get coefficient r and uh, after calculate values of the inductances depends on the capacitor. The next point is the control and simulation. The closed loop system was selected uh, for, the for the verification the theoretical analysis. Uh, there can be any suitable regulator as a proportional resonant or PI, but they should be perfectly tuned. I choose model predictive control as a suitable instrument for controlling system. Uh, the cost function contains only the inductor current, the horizon of the prediction was 1. Uh, on this slide you can see the comparison of the simulation results of the bug boost mode depends on the value of the capacitor. So the results uh, showed that if we increase capacitor the input inductance also should be in, uh, increased but uh, uh, the grid inductor can be reduced for keeping the whole structure of the LCL filter. In some cases we can reduce the output inductor significant and replace filter as a simple LC filter. The simulation results confirmed the theoretical analysis as well. The simulation results of the boost mode also confirmed the theoretical mass approach. The ripple factors from simulation were approximately the same as theoretical. Uh, the last key point is the experimental results. Uh, we have designed two inverters. Uh, on the left side is twisted inverter, on the right side is simple bug boost inverter. Uh, you can see uh, on the lower picture from the lower picture that uh, the heat sink of the bug boost switches uh, are so huge but uh, the unfolder transistor are placed on the bottom side and have no heat sink at all. The maximum tested power was 1.1 kilowatts. Uh, the THD was not more than 5%. The switching frequency was around uh, 62 kilohertz. Uh, on this slide you can see the experimental results of both inverter. Uh, upper pictures are related to twisted inverter, lower picture is simple bug boost inverter. Uh, finally let's summarize the main points from this research. Uh, the goal of this research was achieved. Uh, the design of the LCL filter for a bug boost inverter based on unfolding circuit uh, for both cases was studied. Uh, the size of LCL filter depends on the, on the values of the capacitor. Uh, we need to find the compromise between bug and boost mode uh, for selecting passive elements. Uh, if we increase the capacitor significantly, the LCL filter can be replaced uh, just as a simple LC filter, but on the other hand uh, it can lead to some phase shift of the output grid. Thank you for your attention. If you have any question I will be glad to answer you.